Hello and welcome to Linux Leech. In today's tutorial we're going to cover the CD command. So let's get started. Okay, The first step you want to take is to open up your terminal. Now you can do this by holding Ctrl and Alt and then pressing T on your keyboard or you can just open it from the dash. Just look for terminal and click on the icon and you'll get a window like this. Okay so the first step we're going to take is to describe what CD is. Now CD stands for change directory and it does exactly what it says. It changes the directory that you're in. So let's just use one of the commands we've used before which is PWD to print our working directory which shows us where we are now. So we're in forward slash home forward slash Linux leech. Now if I type CD and hit return it looks like it's done nothing and we'll just PWD to see where we are now yep we're still in the same directory we were in now it hasn't actually done nothing what it's done is it's that command by itself takes us back to our login directory and as we were already there it's just taken us back to there so it didn't look like it did anything to us but it actually has so if we use another option for CD, which is CD space full stop full stop or period period and hit enter, let's see where we are now. So we'll type in PWD and you can see we are in the forward slash home directory. Now, as you can see from this, the forward slash home directory is one directory level above Linux Leech. So the dot dot or period period moves us up a directory from where we are. So now if I type CD and hit enter and then PWD to see to print out the working directory or where we are, we've moved back to the login directory for Linux Leech which is Linux Leech's home directory. Now there's another way we can do this. So let's move back up to the home directory by typing cd space period period. And let's type in cd space tilde. And let's just print the working directory. And there we go. You can see that we've moved back into the login directory. So cd and cd space tilde seem to do the same thing. Now cd space tilde has done this because we haven't given it another option. What cd tilde is actually for is to take us to other users login directories. So if I type in cd tilde and then the username of another user on this system which is Tarek and then press return and then let's see where we are now you can see that it's taken me to Tarek's login directory so the by adding a username after the tilde it will take you to their login directory so this is a shortcut way of actually taking you to another person's login directory without you knowing the absolute path to get there. So what I mean by absolute path is the full path starting at the root. So an absolute path would be something like forward slash home forward slash Tarek. That would be the absolute path on this system to take me to the folder that I'm in now. So to get back to Linux Leech's home directory, I could type in cd space tilde Linux Leech and that would take me there. But as I am actually logged in as Linux Leech, I can either type cd tilde with no username after it or just simply cd and that will take me back to Linux Leech's login directory. So that's cd and cd space tilde. Now I did talk a bit about absolute paths. 
You can also CD from wherever you are to any absolute path on the system that you have access to. So if I CD to forward slash home forward slash Linux leech forward slash documents uh, forward slash projects and then PWD that will take me through to that directory from wherever I entered it because I entered an absolute path so I basically gave the CD command the full address of where I want to go and it's taken me there so let's just go back to home and PWD to see where we are so we're back in Linux Leech's login directory so that's absolute paths and you can use them from anywhere so let's just cd into Tarek's login directory and just say we wanted to move from here to Linux Leech's documents directory now we could enter the absolute path by cding to this or we could use a relative path now a relative path works by us moving up directories first and then once we get into a directory like the home folder that contains the other directory we want to go start going down into which is the Linux leaks, Linux leech directory we can do that so I'll just show you a relative path from here um, if we type in cd space period period forward slash that means to go up a level so we're now in the home directory so I know that Linux leech is in the home directory as well so now I can start going down into Linux leech's directory structure so if I type in Linux leech and then forward slash documents whoops that will take me through to Linux Leech's documents folder so let's hit enter and try that and then PWD there we go I'm now in Linux Leech's documents so that's how to use relative paths now I only went up one level but you can go up more all you need to do is just keep adding dot dot forward slash so it will look something like this like dot dot forward slash which is up one level and then two levels three four levels and then you can start going down or go down from here you just have to enter enough dot dots and forward slashes for every directory you need to go up until you are where you want to be so that's how relative paths work and there's another option that I want to show you which is to go back now I'm in Linux Leech's documents folder now but I want to go back to Tarek's login directory now I could go back to it by typing cd and then tilde and then Tarek but seeing as I was just there I could just type in cd space dash which means to go back so if I press return and PWD to show you where I am you can see that it's taken me back to where I was so that's the back command in the change directory sorry the back option in the change directory command and yeah that's pretty much how to navigate using CD um, there are a few other options, but these are the main ones that you will definitely be using on a day-to-day -day basis. So they're the ones that I've shown you. That's brought us to the end of that tutorial, so thanks for watching and goodbye.